Doris DeVries and Scott Wheeler here to present the August Bed Chambers Player of the Month. Doris, you're the man to have won it. How did you sum up the month for yourself? Well, really nice, isn't it? Um, it it's been a great start for me personally. Um, you know, it, it, it's just uh, down to, to be working hard over the summer. And uh, we started off with a couple of good games and um, yeah, I feel, feel good to be fair. feels great. Scott, you voted for Doris. Yes. Why did you do so? Um, because he's been putting in some fantastic performances for the team and mainly because I think without him we would have gone even further behind and we'd be struggling more than we were right at the start of the season. With the defeat to Brighton, my favourite moment was the uh, clawing it off the line. Despite the defeat, it was, it was a fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Doris, one save sticks in my mind. It was from Patrick Bauer against Charlton. We've seen some great footage from behind the goal of that one. Just talk us through it. How did he manage that? Wow, it went really quick, wasn't it? Um, it's just it's just pure blank uh, reaction save. Uh, it's a little bit of instinct as well. Um, you could see the ball dropping just over our defenders. He was just sneaking in behind and headed it in. Uh, I was just managed to be in the right spot and get my hand out and, and get a strong hand behind it because mostly you see that the ball hits your hand but it just still goes in. I was still managed to get a powerful hand against it, went over the crossbar, which was uh, which was a good a good feeling as well as a, as a, as a goalkeeper at that moment because you, you'll be there for your team and in the end you got a point from it, which is even better. Um, unfortunately, it didn't happen with the save up at Brighton, but uh, but this one was was uh, was really nice. It was a great month for you as well because it really cemented your place as the first choice goalkeeper. An opportunity you've been waiting for for a while here. Oh, absolutely, and and, and that's what I keep saying as well. It's, it, it doesn't change now as well. Um, it, I always just keep working hard and, and, and never try to give up on that moment. That once you're in on on the pitch and and you're chosen to to play, you want to do well and you want to do well for your teammates. You want to do well for the for the management, but also for the fans as well. And uh, you just don't want to disappoint anybody else. And, uh, and that's why I keep working very, very hard every day. And um, let's keep ho let's let's hope that the performance keep going. Scott, we've been privileged with good goalkeepers recently, haven't we? Carl Darlo, obviously, oh. who's gone to Newcastle now, and now Doris has stepped in playing yeah. really well. Lucky to have him. Definitely. Um, even last season, when Carl Darlo was in there, we knew we had on the bench Doris De Vries, and we knew that he could step in at any point and uh, just make the performances that counted. So we were always blessed with good keepers and. Uh, the back line as well to help him out. You've come a long way today, mate. Just tell us, you're from Plymouth. Let's get that yeah. one out of the way. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Even Doris understands us a long way away, and he's yeah, from Holland. Yeah. So, um, How did you get around to supporting Forest in the first place? Um, it's a, kind of a strange story. It's I was about four or five at the time, and I didn't have a football team to support. My dad's a Liverpool fan, and Forest were playing Gillingham live on Sky, and I I didn't have a team, so I said to my dad, I'll support whoever wins. I went to bed at half time, woke up the next morning, Forrest had won 4 1, and I'm here today <laughs> as a Forrest fan. Absolutely fantastic. Are you enjoying yeah. your day here as oh, well? Definitely, it's, it's been fantastic, yeah. It's a different sort of perspective you get than being a fan in the stadium, isn't it? You come yes. down to the training ground, you see the players, you've met a few of them, it yeah. just gets, gives you another sense of, of what it's all about. Definitely. I've just uh, been in the stadium earlier on was absolutely fantastic. There's a certain aura about the city ground when you walk in you can feel the history and you can feel the pride that's gone into the football club and then coming here it's been absolutely fantastic to like see the players on a one-to-one -one basis and see them in their training gear and focused ready for the next match against Hull. Got a great story hasn't he? It's a great story indeed yeah I'm listening uh, it's just great like it's a great journey for him today as well and uh, one of them fans that you want to do well for, isn't it? You know what I mean? And just give him, especially when he when he travels uh, to certain games as well, and long journeys. You just want to give him good performances. So it's it's great to be seeing him as well. Fantastic. Word on the bed chambers, Doris. You know you've won a hundred quid voucher there, and you bought a nice bottle of champagne, which I'm sure you'll leave until the end of the season. Um, yeah. But nice prize for you. It is a it is a really lovely prize. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hope, hopefully, I can sleep well now. Yeah, I'm sure you are, isn't it? And Scott, <laughs> yeah. we're just hoping you're not going to have to carry your mattress yeah, all the way down yeah. the M5 to, to Plymouth. But thanks very much for yeah. joining us today and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, thank you very much, guys.